Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video, we're going to be solving a nice equation with complex number. Numbers. So Z is a complex number and Z can be written as A plus BI and A plus BI is the name of this channel. Now, if you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos on basics of complex numbers. If you like algebra and number theory, Olympiad level or competition level problems, go ahead and check out my other channel, Cyber Math. I publish a video every day and it's cyber with S. Okay, great. So let's see how we can solve this problem in two different ways. First method. Since the name of this channel is A plus BI, why not replace Z with A plus BI? That makes sense, right? So we get a plus bi in the numerator. In the denominator, we get a plus bi minus 1 plus a plus bi divided by a plus bi minus i. And this is equal to 2 at the end. Is that possible? Are there any solutions? Let's find out. So I want to put together the real parts and imaginary parts because we are about to multiply by the conjugates. I hope you know what that means. But a complex number such as a plus bi, its complex conjugate would be x or a minus bi. In other words, you just negate the imaginary part and that gives you the complex conjugate. And what is significant about the complex conjugate is that when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate or add to it, you always get a real number. And that, in that sense, that number is unique. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this number and multiply by a minus 1 minus bi, both the numerator and the denominator. And then we're going to take this number and do the same thing or something similar. So it's going to look like this. We're going to multiply by a minus b minus 1. I noticed that we are only negating the imaginary parts. And when you multiply x plus yi, let's not use a plus bi because it's not in the denominator. When you multiply x plus yi and x minus yi, you get x squared plus y squared. From difference of two squares, you get a sum of two squares because you know what? i squared is equal to negative 1. That's y. Very important to know. Something that you should never forget. Okay? Now, Let's go ahead and simplify this. We're going to multiply these two. And numerator, of course, there's going to be a lot of distribution. Let's go ahead and first write it as a product. And then the denominator is just going to be a minus 1 squared plus b squared from sum of two squares again, right? In the numerator, let's just write it as a product. And at the bottom, it's going to be a squared plus b minus 1 squared. Again, this is at sum of two squares. And the whole thing is equal to two. Nice. How do we go from here? Well, we can actually go ahead and distribute the numerators. That's what we're supposed to do. But you can kind of keep this as a whole. So like this. A times A minus 1 minus ABI plus ABI. And then minus B squared I squared, which is plus B squared divided by a minus 1 quantity squared plus b squared. And then here, a times a is a squared, and then minus a times b minus 1i, and then plus a b i, and then finally plus b times b minus 1. Or you could write it as b squared minus b, same idea, okay? We should probably move things a little bit to the left because, uh-oh, that didn't work. Let's try one more time. I'm going to move things to the left a little bit so that uh, you can see it. And also, if I need to, uh, you know, I can simplify things. So, where do we go from here? We can go ahead and distribute. That's going to give us, uh, by the way, this is equal to 2. Don't forget that. We get I, A squared minus A and then plus B squared. ABI, ABI cancels out. And then we're going to divide it by the denominator. All right? And a, B, there's no I, so this is pu uh, just real, pu purely real. And here we get A squared 
plus b squared minus b. So something somewhat similar. And then these two are kind of interesting. This is going to give you negative ab plus a, and all of that is multiplied by i. So negative abi, abi is going to cancel out. You're going to end up with ai, like artificial intelligence, okay? Plus ai divided by a squared plus b minus 1 squared, and that's equal to 2. So there's a couple things. Do, do, do you need to come make a common denominator? I don't think so. That will be complicated, don't you think? At least in this form. But you can do the following. Separate the real parts completely. Like, okay, this is the, maybe I should put the squares together. Like this. A squared plus B squared minus A over A minus 1 squared plus B squared. Plus another real part, a squared plus b squared minus b over a squared plus b minus 1 squared, and then plus a over a squared plus the quantity b minus 1 squared, and that's multiplied by i, and this is equal to 2. Awesome. How awesome can that get, right? Now take a look. This kind of looks pretty complicated, and in order for these two sides to equal, we have to have a zero for the imaginary part because the right-hand side is a real number. So this should be zero, which makes things a lot easier because guess what? From here, we get A equals zero. And when you plug it in here, that should equal two because that's the real part, the real deal. So if A is equal to zero, we're going to get B squared divided by one plus B squared. And then if A is zero, we're going to get B squared minus B over B minus one squared is equal to 2, which is the real part again, right? Now, to solve this problem, yes, it's a struggle. You kind of need to expand, make a common denominator. Maybe you'll get some cortex. I don't know how things are going to end up because I'm about to show you the second method, which I like a little better. So what was the question? <laughs> I forgot. Z over Z minus 1. Z over Z minus 1 plus z over z minus i is equal to 2. So the question is, could we just make a common denominator? And in this form, yes. So let's multiply by this one by z minus i over z minus i and multiply this by z minus 1 over z minus 1. Okay? That's going to give you in the numerator z times z minus i and now you can add because you have a common denominator, which is really nice. And that is z minus 1 times z minus i. And that's equal to 2. So that should give you a quadratic, which is very easy to solve, right? Kind of. z times z is z squared. So we get z squared minus iz plus z squared minus z. And if you cross multiply here while multiplying by 2, you're going to get z squared, but then it's going to be 2z squared. And then minus iz, but minus 2iz. Don't forget the 2 for every term. Minus 2z, or not 2z, do you z what iz? Plus i, plus 2i. Everything has a 2. Okay? Cool, cool. Maybe we can simplify a couple things here and there. Look, z squared plus z squared is 2z squared. Beautiful. What else? I have negative iz. I have negative 2z. I have 2i. Why don't we put everything on the same side? Let's go ahead and bring these over here. 2iz minus iz is going to be iz. So these two are taken care of. And then we're going to bring over the negative 2z as a positive 2z. So it's going to be plus z. And then that'll equal 2i. That's nice because I want to leave this on the right hand side. You know why? Because if we're about to factor z. This is not quadratic. So we're good. 1 plus i equals 2i. Yay! If you know something, then things are a little easier, but suppose you didn't, I'm going to show you, and then I'll show you the other thing, okay? Multiply by the conjugates, then you get 2i minus 2i squared divided by 1 plus 1, which is 2. That is, i squared is negative 1, so that's a positive 2 plus 2i divided by 2. So z is 1 plus i. Wow, it's that simple? Well, sort of. But let's take a look at an alternative. So we're trying to simplify this, right? If you know that 2i is 1 plus i squared, which you should definitely know, like by heart, you should memorize it, then things are going to be a lot easier. z equals 1 plus i is going to follow automatically from here. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you 
next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.